I got my new Nico gauge last night. I didn't see too much about it, so I thought I'd uh, give a quick demonstration. Um, I have it set up for checking the uh, case wall thickness right now. I was watching uh, David yeah, Tubbs' video. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the video. I watched uh, David Tubbs' video, uh, Sierra video on reloading, and I so I went and bought one. Um, I'm trying the K06 uh, 175 to 178 gram. Uh, can you wash your paint? Uh, so basically you have a little anvil here uh, and the indicator goes on there and you're checking total indicator runout. Uh, case mouth goes on uh, appropriate sized uh, piece there. Um, and then you just gently spin it around. So this one has about 2,000 total indicator run out. Um, you want to mark the low spot. And what uh, Mr. Tubbs talks about is lining that up with your, uh, your locking lug uh, to handle recoil. So then I mark the uh, indicator run out and I just put it on the list to kind of create a histogram here. Um, I don't know at this point what the real effects is, um, but I'll, uh, next I'll do a design experiment and really see what impact it has. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a close up here so you can take a closer look. So a couple things I've noticed is some of the cases are very smooth inside and some of them are quite rough. So this has about 2,000s run out, um, which is pretty good. The uh, Lake City, uh, I found up to 9,000s run out, but this TA seems to be pretty consistently 1 to 2,000s. Um, one thing I did notice is since this is cantilevered out, uh, the amount of force you put on it really matters, um, so you got to be really delicate as you turn it. Um, the other thing I noticed is I bought mine used and the uh, there's corrosion uh, between the moving part and the stationary part and the indicator. And I had to take it apart and uh, polish it with 2000 grit and oil it. That seems to be working good now. Other than that, it uh, looks pretty nice. We'll just see if it has an impact on the groups.